All right, welcome back to Daybreak. Joining us is Dr. Josh Glenn from Navison Health. Doctor, you're here to talk about testic testicular pain in men, obviously. Right. Um, what are some of the things that can go wrong? So it really, testicular pain in children is what we're talking about. Okay. And, and uh, there, are, there are a few things that can cause testic testicular pain from simple infections like uh, epididymitis and orchitis to mm -hmm. hernias. And then the most uh, serious thing is something called testicular torsion, mm. where uh, if you think of the testicle as a ball and a string with the string right. being the blood vessels, it can twist within the scrotum. Golly. And one in 4,000 males are not born with something called the gubernaculum that attaches it to, I know it's the best word in medicine. <laughs> it's just great. Uh, it attaches the testicle to the base of the scrotum, and without that, it twists. And what we see with that is that the testicle is extremely tender, the scrotum is swollen, it's red. And it's and painful. It's, it's very painful, yes. And so the classic is that the kid wakes up in the middle of the night with acute onset of pain. Okay. And uh, we see uh, two peaks, one of the very small babies, and then mainly in adolescence. And so... As you know, an adolescent doesn't want to tell anything to their parents, but much less anything going on in that area. Right. And so uh, it requires a surgery to fix it and performed by a pediatric surgeon or a pediatric okay. urologist. And the, why it's so important to, to catch it early is that if we can catch it within four to six hours, then 100% of the testicles can be saved. Yeah. After that, that rate goes down, and after 12 hours, they're pretty much gone. Yeah, and, and Dr., your advice you know, especially for teens, like you said, who, you know, if something happens down there, they don't want to go to their parents. Right. They certainly don't want to go to their mom. They may not even bring it up. They, you know, do have, do have their own surgery in their bathroom in a lot of cases. Your advice to them? So if, uh, if you have pain down there, it may be nothing, uh, it may be minor, but yeah. it could be very serious. You need to tell your parents and you need to go to a pediatric facility, such as the Children's Hospital in Navison, where you have the pediatric surgical subspecialist there that can take care of the problem for you. Okay, okay. And what are some of the things that kids can watch for from the on the outside of the scrotum per se if they have problems internally there? Uh, it'll become swollen, Okay. Uh, often become red, Okay. and the testicle will be raised on that side compared to the other side. Oh man, so this is, I mean, if it's, it sounds like it if hurts. you have something wrong down it's, there. It's not it, like, a, it's not usually subtle. Right, it'll hurt a lot yeah. and be, you can generally tell that something's wrong right. down there. Uh, so the next step is going to the hospital, what happens right. from there? Uh, you would come to, for instance, the ER at Navicent okay. uh, where you know, we work very closely with the ER there, so they're cued into this problem. They know what to, they're looking at. They uh, know to get the pediatric surgeon involved very quickly. Mm -hmm. And you'd be taken quickly to the operating room where we would have uh, surgery to fix it, where yeah. we untwist it and fix it where it's supposed to be. Yeah, and another thing that happens, you know, when we're discussing this topic, especially with adolescents, you know, kids punching each other there, getting, getting rough, and, you know, right. oh, you know, thinking it's funny, you know, hit somebody in right. the balls. Uh, what could, what, anything that could go wrong there? Uh, sure, you can uh, rupture your testicle, Golly. which uh, also requires surgery to fix. And uh, uh, you know, God gave you two for a reason, so you got <laughs> you got to sure. spare, but uh, you, you don't. Uh, <laughs> right. You want to keep both of them. Right, right, obviously. <laughs> so, and there's a lot that can go wrong down there, kind of like you described. So, make sure kids uh, get help there, and parents obviously be aware of all that can go wrong, uh, especially with your teen or your kid. Thanks, doctor, for joining yep, us. Uh, we'll be right back after the break. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>